This is your brain on drugs. This is your brain listening to 80s music. And this is your brain watching. Oh my God, what are you doing? And this is you smashing up those brains to make an eggshell mosaic. Da -da -dee -da -da -da, eggshell mosaic. So we're going to take those metaphorical brain bits and we're going to turn them into an eggshell mosaic. Now, just to let you know, I didn't waste any eggs during the making of this video. Except that first one. But the second one, the 80s video on beat off egg, I turned that into a nice scrambled egg. Add a little spinach in there. Because one of my New Year's resolutions is to put more green in it. And since I've already failed on like most of my New Year's resolutions, my new is to at least stick to one New Year's resolution. So, uh, I didn't finish the uh, scrambled eggs though, because if I eat the eggs, then my stomach feels kind of wonky. And it's not because I'm getting old, um, it's just flaming hot Cheetos. When I was younger, I could eat bags and bags of flaming hot Cheetos. Uh, but now if I eat a handful, it's like half hour later, Hiroshima in my pants. You know what I mean? Um, so anyways, uh, yeah, let's get to our eggshell mosaic, guys. Let's go. Materials you're gonna need for today's project is tracing paper. You're gonna need a canvas. You're gonna need one of these foam wedgie thingies. Uh, that's what you're gonna use to spread out the Mod Podge or glue. You can choose either one. We're fresh out of white glue because my daughter knows how to make slime now. So thanks YouTube for that. And of course paints. I chose watercolor, but you could choose whatever your heart desires. And of course eggshells because it's an eggshell mosaic. So I hope you saw that coming. So first things first, you're gonna take your empty eggshells and you're gonna wash them out. Treat it really nice, wash it under warm water. Make sure that the shells know that they're loved because in the next minute, you're gonna be ripping out that film that's inside the eggshell. I don't know what that's called. So let's just go ahead and call it the egg foreskin. Rip out the egg foreskin because you're not gonna want that there because when it dries up and you try to crack your egg, it doesn't crack properly. Um, there you go, just like that. Nice and easy, and put it aside and let it dry. When the eggshells are dry, crunch them up into little pieces, uh, and use this as a time to kind of get any aggression or any pent up anger that you might be having inside you. Just really get in there and crunch the shit out of them. Personally, I like to smash my shells while watching Prince William's royal wedding and yelling at a certain somebody. You're not even supposed to be there, Camilla Parker, bitch! There's two ways you can stick these shells onto the canvas. You're gonna take that little wedgie thing, spread out the glue, and you can try the easy breezy hippie way of putting down the glue and just letting the shells fall where they may, man. Or you can try my preferred method. I like to call this the helicopter mom parenting technique. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the eggshells and you're gonna crack them directly over the glue. That way it kind of gives you control on where your eggshells, uh, eggshell pieces lie. You could even rearrange it uh, to fill in any gaps that you see. Make sure that all your other eggshells are hanging out with the right eggshells, that they come from good families. And then when it's time for your eggshell to go to college, you could fill out the eggshell college application for it. So lots of control with this method, which I particularly prefer, uh, because not only does it result in a kind of nice, even canvas, but I get to, you know, take out all my helicopter mom aggression uh, into my art. And that results into having kids that later on aren't going to need therapy. So it's a win-win for everybody. You're gonna get a lot of eggshells all over the place while you're doing this, but don't throw those eggshells away. The ones that you reject, you're gonna pull like an American Idol, you know when they bring back the losers for a second chance? You're gonna give your eggshells a second chance because you're gonna use them to fill in any gaps in your canvas. Kind of like how I eat bags and bags of Reese's peanut butter cups to fill in gaps in my soul. But that's another video. While you're waiting for your canvas to dry, go ahead and pick out the design you're going to put on your mosaic. I chose Wonder Woman because I love Wonder Woman. And it was really hard because some of these were really pretty. I love the ones where she looks strong. But this caught my eye. Oh, how salon selective does she look? The design I chose was too small for the canvas. It was just a little bit larger than a postage stamp because I don't know, I like to make things harder on myself apparently. So I actually had to draw it even larger on a separate piece of paper. Now, if you're smarter than me and you probably are, you chose a design that will fit your canvas. And if you did that, go ahead and skip this part. You're gonna take the tracing paper and you're going to put the tracing paper 
over your design and trace it. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your design, the tracing paper design, and put it over your eggshell canvas and use it kind of like a reference. It's really hard to sketch out a design on the actual um, eggshell mosaic uh, canvas itself. So that's why I use tracing paper. If there's some other way that you can put your design onto the canvas without actually using tracing paper like I did, by all means, do it. And of course, Comment down below and let me know how you did that. I know there's gotta be an easier way. I just, I couldn't figure it out, so whatever. I just work here, man. So I chose Wonder Woman because why wouldn't I choose Wonder Woman? I love Wonder Woman. I've always loved Wonder Woman. In fact, uh, in college, I was gonna get a tattoo of Wonder Woman on me somewhere, that Wonder Woman insignia. Now, I never got it, but luckily for me, after I had kids, uh, my stretch marks kinda looked a little bit like the Wonder Woman insignia or a sad smile, depending on how you look at it. I also chose Wonder Woman because like the rest of the world, I've fallen in love with Gal Gadot. I think in Latin, Gal Gadot means everyone wants to screw me. Just between you and me, uh, ever since I saw the movie, I've been having weird daydreams about Gal Gadot. Like I will daydream that I accidentally bump into her at Starbucks and she's like, oh, your head hit my hip really hard. By the way, that was me. That wasn't Gal Gadot. I know, it's just, it's crazy accurate. I'm very talented. Anyways, so, you know, I hit her and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, Gal Gadot. Let me massage your hip. And while I'm massaging her hip, she of course falls in love with the magic touch of my stubby hands and says she can't bear to be without me. So we grab a venti, non-fat, sugar-free, butter cookie, shark latte, or whatever the heck they sell at Starbucks. We share that, we buy matching Uggs and get super, super basic together, and of course fall in love. I, I didn't go into detail with my little daydream because if, you know, you really think about it, that relationship would never work out. I mean, Gal Gadot lives in LA, I live in the Central Coast, that's at least a five hour drive. Gas prices are through the roof, that would never work out. Uh, and I didn't really think I had to go into detail with my daydream. I just never really thought I would meet Gal Gadot. But I spoke too soon because as it turns out, all this daydreaming somehow manifested Gal Gadot into my inner circle. Except I'm not gonna be one meeting her, my husband is. It's for work and that's all I can say. Otherwise, if you guys knew more details, I'm gonna have to drive to your house and kill the five followers that are following me and I desperately need you all, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. Now, when I first found out that my husband was going to meet Gal Gadot, I was happy. I swear I was happy. But also, I was kind of mad. I wasn't mad at my husband, I swear. I was happy for him. I was mad at Oprah, who is the inventor of the law of attraction, I think. Now, if you don't believe in the law of attraction, I can tell you guys right now that it works. For example, I constantly think about having cake in my face, and more often than not, I have cake in my face. And I appreciate that Oprah tried to throw me a fastball of Gal Gadot, but guess what, girl? You missed. Who do I complain to now? Is there a Yelp in the universe that I could complain to? I want to know. So all this negative thinking really screwed up my painting, you guys. I mean, her eyes are wonky. Her star there looks like Patrick. Her nose is a watercolor tragedy. But in the spirit of positive thinking, I decided my Wonder Woman is less Salon Selective's girl and more of a got arrested for public drunkenness and assault of an officer. And I added a little something that I think made it into a masterpiece, worthy to hang in any bathroom stall. <laughs>